Hello guys, so welcome to Care Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have almost done with the texturing of this particular rover over here. So few things are left out which will be doing it. So let's just select this objects over here. Let's go into material editor. And I'll go into this and let's assign a V-Ray material over here. So I'll just assign one V-Ray material. So let's take a V-Ray material. I'll go into this. I'll slightly make it a bit grayish and I'll add a bit of reflection over here. That's it. All right. So let's just check out so few things which are just left out let's select this <coughs> bolts nuts over here so let's just select this all over here Press M, go into material editor. Let's again take a V-Ray material. And if you want, if you have any, we don't going to use any kind of a rusted kind of a material. Instead of that, I'll just uh, make it white. I'll go into this. I'll give a bit of reflection. And with that, I'll slightly reduce the glossiness. So once you reduce the glossiness, you can just manage it better and increase the IOR stuff over here and let's just assign it in this way so we can just name it as nuts and bolts we can just name it as so we can just get an idea of it by assigning this over here now again let's check out this stuff okay this is just left out so this also has to be into the golden part so let's just assign again go over here and let's assign a gold shader assign that over here as well so now what you can do is I have one scene so if you want you can just put it on one scene over here so if you want you can just make this uh, land as a moon kind of a stuff as it is a uh, landing over here so again I'll just go into the material editor and let's again take a V-Ray material and go into the bitmap I have the texture of a moon over here so let's go over here just a second get some moon shader or texture I'm sorry okay, all right so I have this over here for this moon over here so I can just assign this texture and if you want to make it if you have a normal map you can assign a normal map also so first what I'll do is I can just convert this into a normal map let me check if I have it these are all normal for earth is for stars milky way sun earth and that's the moon so let's first let's assign the texture for a moon over here in this way and i'll just convert it into a normal map you can take out a normal map how you can take out a normal map i can show you 
how you can do it is like you can just go into the website any of the website where you can just convert the normal map converter so I'll just do it so once you've assigned you have taken a normal map how you can go do over here is like so I have one texture of a moon over here let's go over here and we'll be taking a V-ray bump to normal let's take V-ray bump to normal over here let's take this and let's connect it oops I've just taken a wrong map V-ray bump to normal and let's connect this with the bump map and with that let's go over here into this bump map bitmap and I have taken this earth uh, normal moon texture can you see so you can just assign this you can connect it with this normal bump over here in this way so now what I can do over here is like if you want I can just go into this and I can take a UVW map that's a very very high texture that's a 8k texture so it's going to take time so I'll just assign a UVW map and if you want to set it okay although it's correctly set up not a problem so convert to editable poly I'll just go over here and we can create some craters if required so for that let's go into this free form and we have option called push and pull so I can use this push and pull option over here so let's take this push and pull let's uh, increase the brush size over here so I'll just increase the brush size and I can just make it uneven so as you can see uh, you can slightly reduce this okay before we put this uh, it's very important that uh, you give some more segments to it that would be much better now convert to poly so there were no segments so it's very important then when you're doing such stuff let's just assign some segments now go over here and let's give this unevenness if you want you can just go over here make it uneven you also have option called a noise you can just slightly assign a bit of noise wherever it is required so we can just assign the noise definitely you're not going to show a spherical uh, moon over here when it is zoomed out then you can show a spherical moon but when it is lending you can show a flat uh, surface over here so we can use this uh, push and pull option over here so this is going to help you in the right manner so let's so there are all, always there are mountains and craters and everything so you have to show this you can show this stuff you can show the craters and everything all right so once you're done what I can do over here I can just save the file once over here so let's just save this file and we'll assign one camera so let's assign one V-Ray physical camera so we have already assigned a V-Ray textures so can definitely assign one V-Ray camera so we can just go into this V-Ray and let's take a V-Ray physical camera and let's go over here and let's place up a camera press C 
let's make this view as perspective so this is your a V-Ray camera so let's select this sorry this is a camera so let's slightly just shuffle this if you want some animation you can do the animation stuff over here let's go over here and set it as local so how much you want to show into the screen you can do that so we can just slightly shuffle this down and this way so let's go into this and you have some parameters for the camera over here V-Ray physical camera so if you try to render this it's going to be a bit more darker so what we can do is like very first of all let's go into the environment let's clear this and let's put some 8k stars image in the background select the camera and shutter speed film i so let's make it as 15 you can just make it darker make it So we can just check out few of this properties over here for the camera. some dots we can definitely let's go into the render setup and make it as hidden map light cache go into the v-ray I'll give a catmull room and clear this all right looks better now So whatever ISO we have taken, we can just keep the ISO as it is, that was 100, yeah that looks much better now. You can put some lights, you can add some lights if needed. So I can just go over here, go into this, take a V-Ray light and let's just assign a V-Ray light right from this angle. So we can just go over here, slightly just push this up so 
So if you go into this and set a target, all right. So let's go into this, set a temperature and reduce the multiplier to 2 or 3. Go into this invisible double sided and let's set the temperature so we can just uh, give a bit of intensity and change a bit of temperature over here all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so we'll be doing a bit of lighting and we'll render it final output so as you can see how we have added a few of the things like we have added this stuff the base we given a moon texture uh, we can just connect this with a map so all right so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so thanks for watching this tutorial